Hey guys, I'm Tim Langston with Red Dog Bushcraft. Welcome back for another segment. I thought it was time for us to go ahead and start using some of this leather that we skimped from that couch. So I'm going to start off with a couple of simple projects and I thought I'd bring you along. I'm no master leather worker, so these projects are going to be fresh and new to me also. So we'll kind of learn together as we go along. I only have a couple of basic tools and I got Hunter as my cameraman today. So Hunter, if you'll zoom in for me here for a little bit. We'll take a look at the tools that we're going to use for the projects coming up. First of all, I have a leather punch, Sharpie marker, a good heavy duty pair of scissors. I have a stitch awl here, and this has wax thread in it at the time. But I also have a large roll of artificial sinew. We'll use that for a couple of our projects. And also some 550 paracord. Now I would like to get some leather lace or actually make some string material for a couple of our projects and hopefully we'll do that as we progress along or I may even purchase some of that. But today we're going to start off with a real simple coin purse and all I've done is I took a scrap piece of this leather and I marked out the largest circle that I could and I'll admit I cheated a little bit. I just used a uh, kitchen pot to draw that circle and drew that out with my Sharpie. But if you didn't have that or if you were in camp or whatever, you could always take a piece of paracord and just tie it into a loop. Measure from one side of your circle to the other. Put your fingers there. Cut that loop in half and you can tie a knot there. And then what that allows you to do is put a pencil or a stick right here in the center of your work, putting your Sharpie on the outside, and as long as you let that rotate, let that knot rotate around the stick, you'll be able to draw a nice circle. I'll get this circle cut out, and I'll bring you right back for the next step. Okay, I've got you zoomed in. It's kind of an over-the-shoulder shot here. Now, all we're going to do to find out where we're going to place our holes, is I'm going to fold this over. just like that and then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to mark maybe three sixteenths of an inch down right on the edge of those folds and then I'm going to come over here on this fold and I'm going to do the same thing and then hold my finger to that inside one and pull that up and mark that now what that's going to wind up doing for me Hmm, I kind of missed that one there, but that's okay. We can fold that back over. Line those up. And give ourselves this mark. Now at least that divides our work into four holes, but we know that's not going to be enough. So now I can fold it again in half the other way, lining up my marks here and here and then I can continue to fold like this and make all of my marks then we'll punch that out okay now that I have my marks on my corners or my quarters here and here I can fold those over put my fingertips on those two marks make sure that they're lined up come to that crease and put another dot and now what I'm winding up with are sections about the width of two of my fingers apart and I'm going to mark that all the way around and then we're going to punch those holes and see how that works as far as our drawstring to draw up our pocket okay now that my holes are punched I just found the appropriate uh, size hole for punching my leather and this wheel just turns it turns in one direction and once I find the appropriate size hole I just put the punch over the center give it a snap slide it up and then back down that leaves me my hole in the leather and I made this just big enough that with the end of this paracord melted and rounded over a little bit that I can get it through there without fighting it too hard. And I'm just going to continue to punch that and weave this paracord in and out all the way around. 
Okay, so here we are, all laced in, all the way around. Let me just pull this paracord together. I guess I should probably keep it with a just a simple overhand knot. But I'm sure you've seen these. All you do is pull it together, and that makes a little little small bag. I've heard it called a uh, uh, a coin bag, medieval coin bag, a uh, pucker perk purse <laughs> and a uh, couple other things but pretty neat and pretty simple okay guys just a very simple first project with some leather from that couch I hope you enjoyed it I hope it wasn't too simple but I just thought I'd bring you along as I try these different projects so thanks for joining me today thanks for all the views all the supports all the likes it uh, really means a lot to me I appreciate it the channel is growing tremendously and it's, uh, it's exciting to watch it grow. So until next time, I'm Tim Langston with Red Dog Bushcraft, home of global safety and survival. God bless.